Hey, Captain Harry Vernon III here again at Captain Harry's Fishing Supplies. Got another simple way that I like to use of trolling high speed and slower speed lures. Plugs. What I like to use are the narrow plugs and I like to, these are the higher speed plugs that I like to use, which are very skinny in the front. So you can go pretty quick with these particular lures. Now, there's obviously there's different sizes, where you're gonna place them, where you're gonna put them. Well, again, these real big lures, which I like a lot, are gonna be real close to the back of the boat. I love putting them in the white water again so they can be seen in and out of the water. There's all different varieties, all different kinds that you can use uh, to catch wahoos. Um, further back, we'll use the smaller plugs. All these plugs are excellent. I've used them all and I've caught fish on all of these. So it's just simple deal. These are gonna go further back. I, I don't fish them in the outriggers. Some people have. Uh, I'm not a big fan of putting them in the riggers because it's a drop back and it's just a bigger plug that shakes loose. So I like to get them on, keep them on and, and that's it. What's good about these bigger plugs that we're using too now is all these single hooks. Single hooks are awesome. They work very, very well. They, they penetrate very good. Now, your, your different leaders and your stuff that you're going to use, cable or heavy mono. Now, if you're using cable or any mono with these plugs because they swim so fast, you need to use a thimble. Very important to have a thimble, whether you're using mono or cable. That just, after a period of time, it's just going to cut right through it. So these guys are for your faster swimming plugs. Now what's important with these guys, on the slow or the fast, what you wanna make sure is they're swimming straight behind the boat. They're swimming really good. What happens a lot of times, if it's not something that could be the nose could be offset, something could be wrong, weed on it, that plug will swim out to the side and start swimming sideways and it just doesn't look right and I don't think you'll get as many bites when you have something messed up like that. So it's, that's just personal preference on, on doing stuff like that on your leaders. Now, what, which uh, plug do I use? What's, what's your favorite color? Let's, again, there's so many different colors, so many different lures out there on the market. And what's going to eat that day? Well, you're driving down the road. This is my scenario. You're driving down the road. You're hungry. You got Burger King, McDonald's. You've got Sunday's barbecue. You got all this food and you're hungry. But the way I look at it, okay, you got a red lure, a blue lure. But sure enough, there's Pollo Tropical. We're in Miami, of course. I'm gonna stop in and go to Pollo Tropical. So they're gonna hit that color. So it's just personal preference. A lot of people say, well, the, the black and purple, everybody caught a ton of fish on black and purple. Well, you got 20 people fishing black and purple. So you're gonna get a lot of fish on that particular lure. Don't be afraid to try something different. Always, it's just good to have something different. A lot of these plugs today, they have rattles in them. I love a rattle. Nothing like rattling a rattling lure back there. So now this is something that I've done for years and years trolling with my father. A big old teaser right off, right behind the boat. When we're fishing and at near the end of the day or in the middle of the day, we pull the teaser in, it's got weed on it, whatever. And we look at the teaser, it's got big teeth marks in it. And we're like, wow, this thing got hit. This is so cool. Look at how many times it got hit. Well, after a while, you got to, you know what? Those are, could have been fish in my boat. That's something crazy. So I stepped up the plate a little bit and started using bigger plugs with a bigger rod and reel combo set up. This is my teaser now for fun fishing. This is my setup. So I don't want to see teeth mark. I want to see the fish in the boat. I don't want to talk about what hit the teaser because that's a fish I missed that day. Now I still, I still use teasers, don't get me wrong. When I'm marlin fishing, bill fishing, or doing anything, I'll put out a teaser all day long and have a good time with it. So that's your deal with your, your main uh, big high-speed plugs, and that's, that's what we like to do. Now, you want to slow it down a little bit, you want to save some fuel, what we like to do is go to your big lip plugs. As you can see here, actually I can show you on this one, this is a big lip plug. This is a 50 foot, this goes down 50 feet. Again, I would fish this one close behind the boat, make it do its job, put one on each side, and then you're going to slow down. If you want to put uh, your other ones further back, you've got 40 foot range, you've got 30 foot range, and you got 20 foot range. And again, you got to make sure 
that they swim straight through the water. Now, as you can see, a lot of these plugs, and the, especially the smaller plugs, they all come with treble hooks. I really like treble hooks because to me it's triple triple the pleasure of getting the fish, getting them hooked. But the problem with the treble hooks is the, the gap is a lot smaller on them. So what you want to do is lighten up the drag. Don't fish these as tight as you would with the bigger hooks because you're just going to rip them right out of the mouth of the wahoo. Uh, now you can actually get the single hooks for these guys and replace the single hooks with that and make it a lot easier. Now this is going to be a a simple quick tip of what I like to do. Fishing stinks slow, wahoos aren't chewing, and I've done this so many times and it works pretty damn good. Slow down, you're fishing the edge probably, go in on the reef. And with these big deep diving plugs, you're gonna get big groupers, a lot of groupers. Don't be afraid. Now you gotta be careful when you're with your depth because you're gonna snag bottom. But let me tell you what, I've caught a lot of big groupers wahoo fishing so things are slow switch it up okay so that's my little fish tip for you on that one now another quick and easy deal is a planer simple simple planer you got different styles uh, pound test bigger rods the bigger the planer there's narrow ones for higher speeds which is really good now off the back of the planer you're going to use at least 50 foot leader so you have a snap swivel with a leader going all the way back to another snap swivel, which will snap to uh, a ballyhoo with a, a sea witch on it. By far my favorite number one deal, three and a half drone spoon. The one to back it up is the number four drone spoon. I've caught more fish growing up with my father on a drone spoon than anything else that I've ever had out there. Now remember, I put a lot of miles with these out there compared to these other lures, so don't, don't be afraid to mix it up. It's all simple fishing. It's, it's all good stuff to put out there. And hopefully this will help you catch more fish. Now, it'd be great. Go online to Captain Harry's and do the www.captainharry.com for more information. And thanks for stepping in and good luck catching.